Okay, here we are inside. And so as you can see, we have full bloom in here. These are just a beautiful looking crop. I did it a little more densely this year and might be paying for it a bit, but I can actually, I actually do have a good bit of a pathway here. A few of these I can tuck up under the, uh, the trellis. And what I do to check out my pollinators is just take a look up top. They have a tendency to um, get up into the corners here. And so we see a decent amount of flies. I see lots of different sized flies as well. Some really small things, some bigger flies, some medium sized flies. And this is one thing I was really looking for. Here is our typical blue bottle fly right there. See another one here. So ideally we're looking for three to five flies per umbel. Um, I can see we don't have that, but I see a lot of flies on umbels. And I see, I, I think the population is just gonna keep growing. So we've got some good, like here's some really good look over here. So I was a little worried, but we seem to be having the population come in and it looks like we're going to get some pretty good pollination in here after all. Uh, and as soon as this is done flowering, we are going to go through and uh, take the mesh off so it can get exposed to the wind again. I'll probably strengthen the trellising and uh, that'll allow just a bit more airflow in here and hopefully reduce our chance of disease. We do tend to get aphids later in the season and I haven't seen any signs of them yet, but I am going to keep my, uh, my eyes out. So July 21st, really beautiful uh, flowering here, good pollinator activity, and so we're very, very happy with where things are at. Let's go take a look at how things are looking outside.